In today's video, we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks on how to beat this week's Grand Master Nightfall, Warden of Nothing. So, it won't be too long. I will just tell you guys what I recommend using subclass-wise, weapon-wise, and yeah. And hopefully this helps you guys uh, get some Azumis. Really good sniper rifle. Definitely should try to get it. So, first things first, let's go ahead and discuss loadout. So, subclass-wise, chaos reaches. Three chaos reaches. If you want to get this done fast and efficiently, and it'd be very easy, run three chaos reaches. That doesn't mean you you have to. You, you can use other things. But this is just this is the most efficient way. So, three chaos reaches with geomags. Makes uh, the boss room is probably the hardest if you don't do this. So, makes it super simple. Now... Weapon wise, loadout wise, anarchy at this point should just be a given. If you're not using anarchy, you're kind of throwing. Now, if you don't have anarchy, go get it. <laughs> uh, it's not it's not like it was before where it's like, you know, RNG drop from Scourge. You can just get anarchy by buying it with spoils, you know, go farm Templar for like an hour or two. You'll get enough spoils. Easy peasy. Uh, so again, this is a tips and tricks video. Just what I'm recommending to make this super simple and easy. So everybody should have anarchy, all three people. Uh, secondly, you're gonna wanna have one person with an explosive round hand cannon for, for uh, overloads. And then the other two people, scout rifles. Now you can use primary scout rifles. You can also use something like vouchsafe because it's void and void shields are the only shields in this entire strike. Uh, that works really well. So, but again, you want one hand cannon user, two scout rifle users, definitely, definitely a must. Uh, now, again, your two scout rifle users on their arms are going to have anti-barrier scout. Your hand cannon user is going to have anti-overload rounds or whatever the hell it's called. Overload rounds on your hands. Uh, all three people should also on their hands have unstoppable grenade launcher. Uh, you will automatically be able to do that with anarchy. Uh, but then for your, you know, your second weapon, I also recommend a grenade launcher. Blinding grenade launchers are very, very good. Very strong. Uh, all three of us were using truth tellers. I've also had some people use the ignition code, which is the, you know, primary uh, slide shot grenade launcher this, this season. So if you wanted to pair that with, um, you know, vouch save or something, that I also recommend. Now, that's, that's the loadouts. That's the weapons you want to rock. Now, here's a couple other minor tips and tricks. Uh, so first things first. Mods are extremely important. People underestimate mods in this game, and they are very, very important. So we're going to just go one by one from each slot. So helmet mods. This is extremely important. Please put on double grenade launcher finders. When you're doing anything in Destiny, I should probably make a video about this, but when you're doing anything in Destiny, finders are extremely important. They do work. They are actually one of the best things in this game. And they have been for a while since fixing them. Um, but they guarantee you ammo. And you can see when they're working because the ammo will have a big giant glow coming out of it. And that means it's a finder ammo. Um, yeah, so so for example, in this GM, have double grenade launcher finders on. There's no reason not to. Moving on to arms, we've already discussed this. Your arms are pretty much going to be exclusively used for anti-barrier overload and unstoppable so we will skip right past arms but that's the only thing that you are going to be rocking in arms chest piece again extremely important this is where your reserves go make sure that you have one or two grenade launcher reserves again it makes a huge difference uh i today i tried something new and only rocked one normally i rocked two and the other mod i used was uh sniper damage resist so that'll allow you to get uh shot by the snipers in grandmasters It'll take you to like one HP, but you'll survive. So I tried it. It was fun. I stopped dying to snipers, but double grenade uh, reserves is still really, really good because you get like 31 um, anarchy and I 24, I think in a special. I can't remember, but yeah, they're 26 maybe. I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I, I just walked one, rocked one. Uh, but again, very, very useful. Uh, moving on to legs. Scavengers, double grenade launcher scavengers. Since you're using two grenade launchers, use two scavs. Uh, and then class ability, class item. Obviously, breach and clear this season. Again, this is this video is also for this season, season of the splicer. You know, next season we'll have new mods, so on and so forth. 
And that is all your mods. Again, very, very important. Uh, there's some other little things you could do. You could do charge with light. Protective light is also very useful. Um, if you don't know what protective light is, it goes on void. And when your shield breaks, it makes you uh, a little bit tankier. Now, that's pretty much it for my tips and tricks. One last thing. Uh, don't hold on to your chaos reaches. Use them sparingly. Like, don't use them sparingly. Use them constantly. Um, we were just using them pretty much constantly on champs. Uh, because if you kill a champ with your chaos reach, you'll make three orbs. So if you constantly are rotating between the three of you using your chaos reaches, you'll give each other your supers back constantly. And again, there's no reason to hold on to your supers. The only time you need to have a super is at the very, very end to melt the boss. So... Uh, that, I guess that'll be the last thing I talk about at the very beginning of the video. You probably saw it. We just, we just double stick the boss and then chaos reach. If all three of you have chaos three, reach and anarchies. The boss will instantly die. You won't have to worry about the hardest part again of this strike is when all those enemies spawn. And that's it. I don't want to drag out this video any longer. But again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know so that I will do this every week when a GM comes out. I will go through the GM and give my... Uh, my tips and tricks. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll see you later. Peace.